So hello everyone, my name is Rhiannon Schultes and this is my senior capstone proposal um, presentation and it is a, surrounding the topic of female representation in film and television. So a little bit about me is my name is Rhiannon, pr pronounced Rhiannon, um, or people call me Annan. I am obviously currently a student at University of Hawaii West Oahu, trying to get my bachelor's in creative media with a concentration in general creative media. And uh, the high school that I attended was Kamali Academy Public Charter School, although it also used to be Kamali Elementary when I attended, but I stuck around when they eventually transitioned over to K through 12. Now, uh, an executive summary, um, about what my presentation will cover. I will be going over some main talking points. This includes the plans for my senior project, my research and thesis statement, and then my objective and rationale and reference to my project, and then the significance of said project. So, excuse me, I just have a few notes that I'm reading. So the thesis statement of my research serves as a way to engage audiences in being self-aware of the material they are consuming. I wrote, consuming media that pushes hatred to specific groups of people can harmfully shape the minds of younger audiences or make those with pre-existing prejudices more comfortable with their negative ideals. This is basically a very short way of saying that various filmmakers who push objectifying, sexualized, or submissive portrayals of women in media are only pushing the harmful narrative to audiences that women are like that in real life or should be seen through that lens. Now this connects to my objective, which is essentially creating a lasting project that expresses the lack of proper representation, excuse me, to move toward women throughout history or specific harmful tropes and how that affects real women in order to draw attention to it, uh, to it from audiences. And I also wanted to clarify below that um, I intend to represent all women here. So women of color and then women in LGBTQ plus subcategories. I believe that any woman who identifies as a woman is a woman. Now, how is this done? This is done through authentic storytelling that rivals performative and pandering awareness. I think it's fair to say that not everyone has pure intentions over women's rights, especially if they are in the public eye when they speak on it. So my project, project will take that into account as I am a female filmmaker telling the story of a female audience. Stories that are about specific groups of people and created by those specific groups of people tend to be more authentic and genuine. Uh, I also want to emphasize that bringing awareness to the issue of lackluster female representation leads to accountability from the audience and helps to accomplish the objective. This forces uh, them to be aware of what they are consuming and how that affects their actors, or their actions, excuse me. And by them, I just mean like an overall them, like an ambiguous them of just people in general. Uh, now that I'm speaking about the objective and rationale of my project, you probably wanna hear what my project is. So uh, my senior capstone project is a 10 to 20 minute documentary that tells the story of female representation in film and television. It will be a combination of footage from various media to serve as examples uh, as well as interviews from various women who speak on the representation they were given and how it's affected them, as well as being a woman in general and how society views females like them. I plan to have a max of five interviewees and a minimum of three, in case I can't get enough, and they will be all, all different ages, races, or sexualities, respectively. Of course, there will be cross-sections, but I do want to have um, something more broad, as I said, um, there's no discussion of representation without intersection intersectionality. And then now uh, some further details. Uh, how does this project relate to my research? For one, it will be a visual collection of how representation, good or bad, affects women with them giving firsthand stories of how certain roles change them. Second, it's also a direct commentary on the issue by using the same format of the negative representation film. This also connects to a large foundation where, oh, excuse me, I think I have to, excuse me, I accidentally went forward too fast. This also connects to a large foundation of where my research stemmed from, which is Laura Mulvey's essay, Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema, 1975. Uh, so basically this essay's main focus is about the male gaze, a concept from Mulvey where she emphasizes basically that if a man behind a camera is objectifying a woman in front of it, then we as the audience are seeing her through an objective lens. and sort of that warped vision that he has of her. And it's not because we're objectifying her, it's simply because he is, and we're seeing her through his eyes. My project also plans to turn this on its head by being a female film, 
excuse me, a female filmmaker who sees her interviewees through an admiring or adoring lens rather than a warped and creepy one. Uh, now, the significance of this project, telling an honest story of how women feel they've been portrayed in society is its significance. So often, women are seen as less than or annoying for voicing their opinion, but my project doesn't do that. It shows the audience that the reason for that stigma is because of poor representation and narratives that are pushed and how we can combat them by pushing more positive ones. Also, future benefits of this project are that it can be seen as a marker for what our current um, representation of women is now in history. And when we can look back on maybe 10 to 20 years and see how far we've come. Uh, now, of course, there are two data points that I've included that really helped drive the point home of how important representation is and how clearly it's not an equal equal opportunity between men and women. So the study that I reference is from Dr. Martha M. Lausen. So she created the Center for Study of Women in Television and Film. She's the founder and executive director, and she's also a professor of women's studies and filmmaking. And the study that I got this information from is the It's a Man's Celluloid World, portrayals of female characters in top grossing U.S. films of 2020. So the pie chart of uh, the 38% represents 30% uh, of women who were major, excuse me, just want to get this right, but I can't see it. Okay, so the pie chart is percentage of females and males as major characters. So 38% of women were major characters from uh, 2020 in the top 100 grossing US films uh, for the domestic box office. And then 62% were male. And then the bar graph is from 2002, 2011, 2013. You can see the years on it, but it shows a percentage of films with female protagonists. So the highest that it got in, was in 2019 with 40% of films having female protagonists. Sorry, finally just learned I could minimize everybody's faces. Uh, so my target audience of this is, of course, uh, younger audiences, boys and girls alike. I want to target developmental stages because obviously they're going to be sculpting the future as we know it. And it's more important to have young creators who can be more influenced now than older audiences who already are stuck in their ways. Although I do want to reach older audiences from a 20 to 30 age range, mostly women who want to feel seen and then men who want to learn. And then also, again, just creators and people in general. And then I also want to focus on West Oahu students because uh, people inside the CM major are obviously going to be future filmmakers. And it's important that they go on into the world creating content that is representative of every group rather than just one specific one. Okay, now my proposed solution is that this documentary will provide an honest portrayal of how women are seen on screen and how that impacts, impacts those watching. It will be effective in combating the stigma of women being shunned when vocal on their strong opinions, while also bringing to light serious issues behind the scenes of a constantly growing industry. So my preparation and process for this is basically in pre-production, I'll be focusing on gaining my interviewers, uh, gaining footage that sort of represents poor and also positive representation because I'm going to have a beginning, middle, and structure, obviously, to my doc where it's the beginning shows the negative representation, really focusing on the male gaze and how women have been seen in an objectified lens, as I mentioned before. The middle will be all the interviews conducted and the ending will be the positive representation and showing those examples, but obviously that's going to take a lot of time gaining that footage. Um, so that as well. And then in actual production, I'll be conducting the interviews and gathering more footage of each, each subject, basically B-roll, because uh, as I mentioned before, sort of my advantage to this is as a female filmmaker, I can have apply a female gaze rather than a male gaze, which is more just like adoring and seeing these women as people and sort of the, their authentic selves. So I'm shooting them in a way that doesn't sexualize them or make the audience feel uncomfortable by viewing them. So I, by having the B-roll, I can show uh, videos of them being individual. And then also in post, I'm going to be editing and I want people to peer review this in a way, just like watch it. I was sent out to some professors that I know and then also friends and family just to get in a sort of all encompassing opinion. I definitely don't want this to be sort of like narrowed or one viewpoint of it. I want this to be everybody can watch it. Everybody can consume it because representation isn't something that's just strictly for feminists to speak on.
And then I'm also going to keep in mind reshoots because obviously nothing is going to be perfect right off the bat. Now, my main uh, inspiration for this uh, comes from Feminist, What Were They Thinking, a Netflix documentary. So it's based on a novel, but the obviously the movie is more important, but it's just about the 1970s feminist movement. And I'm really taking like a style inspiration from this when it comes to like the use of archival footage and editing, because there's a lot of montages and jumping from between time and everything. And I kind of want to apply that obviously to my doc, where it's going between the b-roll the footage that's using examples that the um women are speaking of and then the women themselves and then also the score in this movie is incredible it really draws in emotions and it really not makes you sympathize but more empathize with these women because obviously not everybody believes that you know feminism is a thing that's valid but anyway thank you so much for listening and if you have any questions please ask